What's up and welcome to 17 Non. Today we're going to make some lamb and cumin handwritten noodles. once made famous in New York, but originally they come from the Xinjiang province in China. But for this recipe, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to make these noodles at home. The combination of lamb, cumin, soy and the texture of handwritten noodles is a pretty hard one to beat. This is one of my favourite things to make and eat of all time. And with all that said, let's get straight into this recipe. Welcome back and let's get straight to this. Let's start off this recipe by making up the dough for the noodles. This is going to take a few hours to rest so best start this first. This can be made up the day before but I'll leave this one up to you. Let's start by measuring out 300 grams of all purpose flour into a large mixing bowl. Also in a separate bowl we can measure out 145 mils of cold water. To the water add 1 teaspoon of salt then mix well to dissolve. And now slowly add the water to the flour whilst constantly mixing. We want to add the water to the flour gradually as this will prevent the flour from getting too wet too soon. This also helps hydrate the flour nice and evenly as this is kind of normal practice when making noodles. When all the water is added and the flour looks like this, we can now begin to knead by hand. The flour may seem a little bit dry at this point but try not to add any more water. And what we want to do now is form one cohesive ball of dough. And this part of the kneading process should take around 5 to 10 minutes. And when ready, we should end up with a ball of dough that looks a little something like this. Not super smooth, but that's perfectly fine. Cover with cling film and allow to rest for around 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, it's now time to get busy. And it's at this point where we want to get the dough nice and smooth. Place onto a worktop and knead for around 10 minutes. As you can feel whilst kneading, this dough still has quite a lot of resistance. This is totally cool and a second rest will make this dough nice and elastic. When smooth, pinch the base of the dough together then form into a tight ball of dough. And when ready, the dough should now be nice and smooth. And it's now at this point where we want to divide the dough into 6 equal pieces. And just for reference, 2 of these pieces of dough will feed 1 person. And naturally this will give us 3 portions. Now shape 1 piece of dough into a ball then flatten with your palm. Then we can roll out the dough into a flat oval shape. Don't worry about the thickness of the dough at this point, and all we want is each piece to be roughly the same size. When ready, generously brush each side with some neutral oil. Just for reference, I'm using canola oil, but ordinary vegetable oil will also work. When ready, place the dough onto a lightly greased plate or tray. Then we want to repeat this process for each piece of dough. I know you're probably wondering what the purpose of the oil is, but the oil and a further rest will make this dough super elastic. When all of the dough is rolled out, cover and rest in the fridge for 2 hours and we'll come back to you at the very end. Whilst we wait for the dough we can now get busy with some lamb. What I got here is a deboned leg of lamb and this will work perfectly. As this is a big chunk of meat we want to slice up the lamb into thick strips and this will help make the lamb way more manageable to slice up. Now we can slice each strip into bite sized pieces. We don't want the lamb to be too thin or too thick and about this size will be perfect. When sliced, add all of the lamb into a large mixing bowl. And as the lamb can be a bit strong in flavour, we now want to make up a quick marinade. To the lamb, we can add 2 teaspoons of ground cumin, 2 teaspoons of crushed coriander seed, 2 tablespoons of light soy and 1 tablespoon of dark soy, 2 tablespoons of rice wine and 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir the lamb with a pair of chopsticks going in one singular direction. And this process is called velveting. We want to keep stirring so that the lamb soaks up all of that marinade and also becomes nice and velvety. Finally, season generously with black pepper then give the lamb a final mix. Store this lamb to one side for now and we'll come to cook this towards the very end. Now to make up a quick spice mix that we'll use to finish the noodles at the very end. In a small bowl let's add 1 tablespoon of whole cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon crushed Sichuan peppercorns, 1 tablespoon of chilli flakes, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin and 2 tablespoons of mild chilli pepper. Mix this well then the spices are ready. And we'll pour hot oil over this mix over the noodles towards the very end. Next thing to make up is a sauce that we'll use to cook with the lamb. To a small bowl add 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, 1 to 2 tablespoons of dark soy, 3 tablespoons of light soy, 3 tablespoons of black rice vinegar and finally a pinch of the spice mix that we made earlier. Mix really well and the sauce is ready. 
This sauce is a little bit intense, but we'll only use a little bit of this when we come to cook the lamb. Keep the sauce to one side, and all that's left to do is to prepare a few vegetables before we begin to cook. To add some freshness to the noodles, roughly chop half a napa cabbage. We'll cook this at the same time as the noodles, so keep this separately. Next, roughly chop one red onion. Finally, slice three garlic cloves. Peel and grate around five grams of fresh ginger. And we're also gonna need some chopped up dried red chilies, but these are optional. Place the vegetables to one side and we're now ready to cook and finish the noodles. Let's cook the lamb before we move on to finishing the noodles. Place a heavy pan or skillet onto a high heat then add some cooking oil. When smoking hot, we can go ahead and add the lamb. Try not to overload the pan as we wanna keep the heat as high as possible. As we velveted the lamb earlier, this shouldn't take long to caramelize. Fry on both sides for a few minutes until the lamb becomes nice and golden brown. The lamb at this point looks pretty good already, but it's time to take things to that next level. Now we can add the minced garlic chopped earlier, the grated ginger, one tablespoon of cumin seed, one tablespoon of chili powder, and a handful of the chopped dried red chilies. Stir fry for a minute until fragrant, then we can add some of the sliced red onion. Continue to stir fry and we want this onion to get slightly softened. Then we can finally deglaze the pan with some of the lamb sauce that we prepared earlier. Keep cooking on a high heat and reduce the sauce so that it can coat the lamb nicely. And as there was corn flour in the marinade, this shouldn't take long at all. When ready, give the lamb a quick taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Try not to dive into it too much like I did, then keep this warm to one side for now. Finally, all that's left to do is to finish off the noodles. After two hours of resting, the dough should be ready and the gluten should be nice and relaxed. Before we begin, lightly brush a worktop with some cooking oil. Now we can go ahead and take out one of the pieces of dough. Place a chopstick into the center and lightly press. This will make a small groove which will make it easier for us to rip the noodles later. Next, hold the dough lightly on each side. Then gently pull to stretch out the dough. When the dough feels like it can't stretch any further, slap the dough off the table until nice and thin. And don't worry, this probably looks more difficult than it actually is. When the thickness of the dough is nice and even, gather from the center and rip down the middle to make one long noodle. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Place to one side and repeat this process for each piece of dough. And to be honest, after a few tries of doing this, you'll soon get the hang of it. Also, these are probably best to be finished to order. And I find two of these long noodles is enough for one person. When ready, add the noodles to a pot of boiling water. And these will only take around one to two minutes to cook. Give the noodles a quick stir to prevent them from sticking. And we can also add some of the sliced Napa cabbage chopped earlier. Cook for one to two minutes, then when ready, the noodles should be nice and slightly al dente. Gather the noodles and try and drain off as much water as possible. And we're now ready to bring all of the components together. Place the noodles into a large mixing bowl, then drizzle generously with some sesame oil. Mix well to prevent the noodles from sticking together. Then we can add a generous portion of the stir-fried cumin lamb. Also add a handful of sliced spring onions and a generous tablespoon of the spice mix made earlier. Meanwhile, heat up some oil in a saucepan until smoking hot. Then carefully pour the hot oil over the noodles, lamb and spices. The aroma at this point is insane and these combinations of flavors are really gonna bring the noodles to life. Finally, mix really well to evenly coat the noodles. Then when ready, all that's left to do is to plate this thing up. To be honest with you, I already know what these noodles taste like. I make these pretty often. The combination of the black vinegar, soy, cumin, lamb, and the texture of the noodles is pretty hard to beat. I would imagine if a restaurant sells only this, they'd be pretty busy. I like to finish the noodles with some more of the spice mix and some homemade chili oil. You don't have to do this, but I'm always chasing that heat. Finally, finish with some chopped coriander and this bowl of noodles is ready. The aroma is insane and I can't wait to eat this thing. If you made it until this far, then I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And naturally, if you did, show some love by slapping that subscribe button. Or even just say what's up in the comments. And with all that said, have fun and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Happy cooking! <laughs>